One of the keys to having a healthy lawn that's competitive with weeds and keeps growing through all the summer stresses is a good fertilization program. Now, when you go to the store and you look for a fertilizer to choose, your choices can be a little daunting. I mean, there's lots of different products out there, and depending where you go, you're going to see different products based on what the store is going to sell. Here today, we just have a selection of different fertilizers. I'd like to take you through and help you understand a little bit of how these different fertilizers will fit into a fertilization program for your lawn. Now, as you look at all the different fertilizers, they say different things. For example, this one over here says uh, greens in three days, feeds for three months. And the analysis is a 31 to 4. And as we talked about before, the 31 is a nitrogen content in that bag. The 2 is the phosphorus or phosphate. And the 4 represents the potassium or what's commonly referred to as potash. So you can see all the different analysis. And it's interesting when you look at some of the bags, it's very prevalent. When you look at others, here's a bag where it's kind of down in the right hand corner. Uh, this bag here, I kind of struggle a little bit to find. And I have to go way down on the bottom there to see that this is a 33.5 analysis. Now, since we have this bag, one of the keys to really understanding fertilizer is you got to search a little on the bag. And I'm going to turn the bag around, and this is what I like to look at. It's called the guaranteed analysis for this fertilizer bag. And what it's going to do is it's going to break down that NPK analysis into its components. And Mostly what we're concerned with a lot of times with fertilizers and how they're going to respond is how the nitrogen, basically how it's formulated in that bag. So if we look at this one, it says total nitrogen is 30%. But then it breaks down that nitrogen component into different segments. And one of the things that we like to look at is right there. It says 1% water insoluble nitrogen. So that is what is commonly referred to as really the slow release component of this bag of fertilizer. So for this particular analysis, we wouldn't really call this a slow release product, just 1% of that whole 30% analysis. Now, if we look at some of the other bags, for example, let's grab this one. Right up here is the guaranteed analysis, a little more uh, prevalent on the bag. Once again, they break down that nitrogen. It's 31% nitrogen. But instead of looking at water insoluble nitrogen, this product is a little different. And they call it slowly available urea nitrogen from polymer coated urea. So that gives you your slow release component in this bag. And that happens to be 20%. So this is going to last longer than this particular bag that we looked at earlier. So those are some of the differences to look for. And it's going to be a little confusing, but look for either water insoluble nitrogen or some sort of language that talks about a polymer coated urea or a sulfur coated urea that tries to help that fertilizer last a little longer once you put it on your yard. Now, those two products are primarily what we call just synthetic fertilizers. Now, if we look at some of the others, we have a bag of good old trusty malorganite over here which the analysis is a 620, but this is a natural organic, so it'll feed the, the turf for a longer period of time. It takes longer for it to break down. So the different choices depend on how you're going to fertilize your lawn with respect to scheduling. So I think what you really need to do is kind of understand a little bit about the fertilizer and then you know rely on the people that are at the store to help you a little bit and decide how many applications you will then be needing. You know, for Kentucky bluegrass, for example, in Michigan, our recommendations are roughly two, probably on, two pounds of N per thousand square foot on the low side, anywhere up to four to five pounds on a really heavily managed lawn that's probably irrigated. So obviously, you're going to have different approaches based on the fertilizers that you choose. Now, another thing I'd like to touch on is phosphorus, which is continually an issue, especially in our state and in other areas of the country. And we look at the different analysis on the bags once again. And for example, the Scots, uh, this bag is a 29 to 3. That's roughly a 10 to 1 of nitrogen to phosphate ratio. If we look at malorganite, which is a 6 to 2, that's roughly a 3 to 1. So if we base it just on our nitrogen applications, we will apply 
much more phosphorus from this bag of fertilizer than we will from these bags that have a 29 to 3 or a 30 to 3 or a 29 to 2. Um, so, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, zero or looking at the ratio makes some difference, differences there. For example, this one is actually a crabgrass preventer fertilizer, which as you can see has zero phosphorus in it. One final comment to look at is just the, the, what we call sometimes a four-bag approach or the four-step approach or referring to a holiday schedule. I don't think it's always necessary that we look at, you know, if you don't have a crabgrass problem, do we need to apply the crabgrass preventer with, with the fertilizer? We could probably just apply fertilizer. When we get into the middle of summer, if we don't have an insect problem around the middle of July, or you know early July, do we need to apply that program that has an insecticide with our fertilizer, or can we just apply the fertilizer? So consider those options when you make your choices, and I would suggest that you think about: we don't have to get everything up front. We can go through the season, see how the turf is growing, whether it's a dry year or a wet year, and then make our fertilizer selection as we proceed.